Hey guys, it's Jeff Beal again, and it's that time again where we're doing the Mac Circuit Express, and this time it's for June of 2011. Just a quick reminder before we get started, I want to let you know that there are different sections on here. It's the core, strength, power, and cardiovascular. So with those different sections, you can do the whole thing in one circuit, or you can take it through one circuit at a time per section. All right, so remember you got core, strength, power and cardiovascular. So we're going to get started with the core. I'll see you right back here in a second. So guys, the first exercise for the core section is called the stability ball ball crunch. So what I'm going to do is lay, I'm going to walk myself out. That's the best way to get into the position. Walk out. Get your lower back on the ball. Make sure that's very important. Lower back on the ball, hands behind the head. You're going to lower yourself down slow and controlled and then come back up. Going down slow and back up. Make sure the ball doesn't move and you're really just trying to bring that whole upper body up and then come back down nice and slow. When you're done, walk back up. That's the first exercise. Guys, this is your second exercise for the core. It's called the standing rotation. You can use a cable, and I prefer to use a cable where you can adjust this about the waist height, or you can use a tubing, which I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to grab the, the grip, hand over hand. I'm going to get my feet facing this way. I'm going to rotate. As I rotate the body, I'm going to rotate this backside foot. And I'm going to come back and forth, keep the arms straight. My hands are going to stay right in the center of my body the whole time. I'm going to perform about 10 reps. I'm going to press on to the other side. So over here, let me show you, this is already set up. It's the tubing. And it's the same exercise. Tubing is, is a little different type of resistance. It's a progressive resistance. I come out to here, it's going to be tougher. When I come back in, it's going to spring back, so I've got to work on the deceleration part. That's the second exercise. Guys, this is your third core exercise. It's called the stability ball plank. If you're not familiar with the plank, this is probably not the best exercise to start with. So I would, I would you know, try to make sure you know how to do the plank first. But let me show you how to go ahead and do it. You're going to put your forearms on the ball. I'm going to get in position first. I'm going to bring one knee up at a time, or maybe both. I want to be able to hold my position here without collapsing this way. My head's going to be in position, in neutral position. My shoulder blades are in a neutral position, and then my lower back. All I want to do is just hold this position, maybe for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Try to get a minute, but make sure, real important, that lower back does not change its neutral position. That's your third exercise. Guys, this is your first exercise on the strength section. This is called a step back lunge to a knee up. And right here I'm holding my hand is the, is the actual attachment that you're going to be hooking up to a cable at the very bottom position. So I'm just going to put this back here. I'm going to slide my toe in first. I'm going to walk out a little bit first to make sure I get my weight off the stack. I'm going to position myself in that back step lunge position. I'm going to bring, step up, and find balance, then come back down. So this takes a lot of balance to do this exercise. Guys, this is your second exercise on the strength section. Again, I'm going to use a stability ball. This is called a lined face-up stability ball knee, and this is really good for those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. Position my legs on the ball. And where you position the legs is going to make this an easier or harder exercise. It's easier if the, if the ball is closer. It's going to be harder if the ball is further away. The first thing you want to do is put your hands out here. Get a, a little bit of a base. You're going to lift your hips up. I'm going to pull the knees in slow and then go back out slow. It's real important to let the hips go up or down while you're doing this exercise. Take two seconds to go out. Take two seconds to go back in. And that's it. That's your second exercise. This is your third exercise. It's an upper body exercise. It's called the single arm chest press. And again, I'm going to use the cable. And also, I might have an option to use the tubing. So I'm going to walk over here. This is already preset for me. I've got this up almost at shoulder height. I'm going to grab this with one hand. I like to have an even stance. Both feet pointing straight ahead. My hips are going to stay still. I'm going to start right here, I'm going to press out, come back nice and slow, nothing's going to turn, everything's going to stay nice and stabilized. So you're working the core as much, even more maybe so than you are the upper body of this exercise. Over here again, let me show you real quick, here's the two-minute exercise. 
I'm going to walk out. Remember, the further I go, the more resistance I'm going to get. Again, I'm just going to push out and then come back slowly. Push it out, come right back slowly. That's your third exercise. Guys, this is your fourth exercise on the strength section. It's the Gravitron, and you can do pull-ups and dips on this machine. We're gonna be doing pull-ups. Real quick, I'm gonna show you how to turn this on. It's real important that you gotta turn it on first. Follow these instructions. Next one I'm doing is enter my body weight, 195 pounds. I'm gonna select number 17, because that's the, the least amount of resi um, where the machine has to work to pump up to give me some assistance so that way it just get through the process a little quicker. Once it stops pumping up, I know I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna step on the little step here. One, both feet. I'm gonna grab one of the three grips, inside, middle, or outside. Start at the middle, it's the best one to start with. Real important, I'm gonna start to hang from the bar, allowing this platform to come up. Now I'm ready to go. Pull myself all the way up, come all the way back down, all the way up, all the way back down. Nice, slow and smooth control reps, Do 8 to 12 reps, that's what I meant. Real important, before you get off the machine, make sure you hit the off button. If you don't hit that off button, this platform will spring up and it might hit you. So, real safety tip right there, real quick. Alright, that's your fourth exercise.